you're in the way game, come up with this happen. Not a bad point, we'll take it. Four defeats on the bounce. Five gets your sacks, like we saw with Dean Smith. Obviously, that was due to our run in 2021 as a whole, but at the moment with Villa, it's not great. Season's coming to an end. Couple of players look like they're on the beach. Games don't mean too much for us. We've slipped down to 15th since we've last played. So as it looks, it's, it's not great at the moment, like I said, at all. I know it's very, very tight in the middle of the table and a couple of wins can boost you back up into the top half, but yeah, it's not ideal. Playing Leicester City away today, I think they've had a similar issue to Villa this season. They've just been far too inconsistent, mid-table, sort of. They would have been looking at Europa League, Champions League, as they have done in the last couple of years, but they haven't been able to do that this year. They are, of course, doing really well in the Conference League, and if you win that, you do get Europa League football, and I do think they can win that because they are probably one of the strongest sides there, just beating PSV in the last couple of weeks or so. That is probably their main priority, so they do make changes in the league, which will probably help us, but they've still got a lot of dangerous players, and I think Jamie Vardy's back today as well, and he always loves a goal again the Villa, we all know that. Leicester have played four times since Villa last played. Obviously, our last game was that Tottenham game at Villa Park, which, okay, we had a decent first half, but who cares? We lost 4-0. Like I said, they've played four times. A few in the league, a couple in the Conference League, so will that help us? Last couple of games for them, they threw away a lead at Everton late on, lost late on to Newcastle, so there's an opportunity for us today. Just before we do crack on, though, please do subscribe. The stats show that a lot of you watching this right now aren't actually subscribed, so help me out. Go down below, press that subscribe button. Easy, free, helps me out on the road to 50k. Drop a like on the video as well if we can try and hit a thousand likes, that would be massively appreciated. And of course, go and check out Luke1977, use the code MAX20 for a big 20% discount on pretty much everything over there. Top link in the description. Um, got some really, really nice gear and of course the weather's getting a little bit nicer now as well, as I always say. So go and get yourself a new wardrobe, go and check out Luke, link in the description. I don't know how I'm feeling today. Leicester, it's, I mean, we're never good there, are we? I mean, the 4-0 springs to mind, the 3-2 loss where we were 2 up in the relegation season. Let's crack on though, it's been a while since since our last away day up the villa. Bosh, here he is. is. It's been a while since our last away day. It has, know, mate. Has Leicester, indeed. Leicester, what are we saying, son? I'm a little bit confident about it. Yeah. I know we're four lost in a row, but I think we could come up with a little bit of a surprise. You, might, you might as well toss a coin at this point. To find out which, which villa is going to turn up. Come on, give us a score. Then. We'll go nice be, early. It's going to be the villa that scores a goal today. So I think we're going to score three goals. It's going to be three-one. Aston Villa from the club. No. Right then, Kate. It's been a while. Leicester away. What are we thinking today? I think we'll get beat. It depends which villa team turns. Exactly. Up. Exactly. Um, but I would go for two-one defeat. Sorry. Oh, that's negative. I know, but we've got to be honest. You never know, dear. Got to be honest. Depends which villa team turns. Up. Libby, you're more positive. What are you thinking today? Um, as long as he doesn't start Ollie Watkins, because he's been... Oh, you're not a fan of Ollie Watkins? No, I hate him. Oh. <laughs> I think Coutinho will have a massive class today. Yeah. 1-0 Villa. 1-0 Villa. Up the Villa. Love it. <laughs> Jamie Brown, first away day in a very long time. What are we saying today, son? I'm not confident. I know I should be. I'm gonna say 2 1 Leicester. Oh, come on, man. A bit of positivity. Simone, what are we saying today, Sunshine? 1 1. 1 1, he's gonna score. Uh, what can you I'll take that. I'll take, take a draw. I'll take a point today. We need to stop the rock. Um, obviously, we need to win, but I'll take a point. If you're gonna offer me now, I'll take a point. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying 2 1 Leicester. They're missing Vardy, no Ian Acho. But they're a good side tonight. I'll take a point as well. But man. Come on, any Villa boys!
Big chance. First chance of the game. Leon Bailey's got to score. Paul. Time nil nil. Um, we, we haven't been very good. We haven't really challenged going forward. So Leon Bailey's been disappointing. I don't know. They've had more of the ball. I think we've had about 30% possession, which is shocking. We just don't really like scoring. Simon, talk to me, sunshine. It's just, it's just not happening, is it, mate? There ain't been a lot in the game. I think they've had a lot of possession, but not done a lot with it. Yeah. Um, we've had, we've had, we've had a couple of little chances. Bailey, we've had a good chance, but. Been, not a bit, a bit of a nothing half, has not um, We need to improve going forward. We do, that's the thing, mate. I think just, just nothing's really happening. I think nil nil is fair enough. I think, obviously, like I said, they've had more of the ball. They haven't had too many clear cut chances, but we don't know like scoring. I think Bailey had a chance early on. But just forward, we look really tentative. We don't know what we're going to do with the ball. Just like nervous, we look really, really nervous. and. I don't know, you'd probably take a point at this point, you really would. But yeah, disappointing, not much has changed. Let's hope for in the second half. Come to the venue, Villa boys! Let's score from open play, come on. <laughs> Douglas Louise, right, Brook Bunnan, one of our own. Come on, son. Make an impression, son. Come on, son. It's a Rigmanen's world and we're all living in it, come on. Ooh. Corner! 15 minutes left. We've been alright this second half. Created a couple of chances, but we need this. Why do we want that? What are you doing? Seven minutes. Seven minutes! Seven minutes, come on, plenty of time for a winner, come on! It was the worst performance in the world. I think after four defeats on the bounce, you'd probably take a clean sheet, a point, something on the board. Do you know what I mean? It's not another defeat, it's not five in a row. And to get a clean sheet is a bonus. I don't think we were fantastic today. I think first half we were poor. I think we had about 30% possession. Bailey looks like he's struggling. He really, really does. I think oh, he's just not good enough at the moment. He's really, really not good enough. Um, I thought Watkins was better today. He tried his best, but no one was really up there to help him. Coutinho was a little bit quiet for my liking. Midfield wasn't the best again, but pff, it was average today. I would have liked to have seen Buendia on from the start. I think against Norwich, you've got to play Buendia. I think he came on for about... 15, 10 minutes, and he looked good. He looked really, really good. He I wouldn't say he changed the game, but he, he brought a bright spark, which we just hadn't really had throughout the game. I think you've got to start him. Coutinho was quiet, like I said. Bailey, I think Bailey, you'd take him out for, for Buendia in the next game, 100%. Defensively, we were 
all right. I thought oh, Constant had a few sticky moments again. I think Chambers is probably sitting on the bench thinking, what have I got to do? Um, but yeah, you, do you know what? Today, you take it, you move on. It wasn't special, we weren't awful. Take the point, run, clean sheet, we'll take it. If you're a Leicester fan, Villa fan, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments down below. Like I said earlier, subscribe if you are new on the road to 50k. And without further ado, I shall see you next week for Norwich at home, hopefully three points there, for Villa. Out.